I love science, but sometimes it's just weird. And we're gonna file this next story under one of the weirdest we have seen on This Week in Science. Research shows that a brain parasite has a bizarre symptom. It can make people appear more attractive. To help explain, we are joined by CTV's science and technology specialist, Dan Riskin. It would explain a lot about the plot of weird science. Um, can you explain exactly what toxoplasmosis is and how it's transmitted before we get to this weird symptom? Yeah, okay, so toxoplasmosis is the name of the disease. The organism that causes it is Toxoplasma gondii. It's a brain parasite that can affect any kind of mammal or bird, and it's been really well studied in rats. And what's cool about it is that it changes the rat's behavior in ways that makes it more likely to get picked off by a cat. And ultimately, this parasite is trying to get into a cat because that's the final host for it. That's where it can reproduce. So when it gets into a bird or it gets into a rat or it gets into other animals, uh, even hyenas, um, you can see it change the behavior in certain ways that make it more likely to get into a, a uh, cat. But the thing is, people can get this parasite too. And it used to be thought that when people got it, it had no real effects unless it was a pregnant woman who got, pre who got the parasite while she was pregnant. Um, but uh, we know now that there are a whole bunch of symptoms that happen that are just very subtle that do affect our personality and other things about us when we get this parasite. And it's crazy because a lot of people have this parasite without even knowing it. In Canada, it's thought that about one out of every eight people has this what? parasite. I know, it's crazy. Okay, then let's get to this question. How is this parasite physically changing people with toxoplasmosis? Like, what, is it, what does it do to try and be more attractive to a cat? How does that work in humans? Yeah, so it's this crazy thing where, so th th there are a whole bunch of studies where they've done personality tests on people, and they show that people who have the parasite score differently on those personality tests than people who don't have the parasite. Also, uh, so men tend to be more macho, uh, and they tend to be a little bit more reckless. Um, women tend to be more warm-hearted and kind, and it's not really clear how that would affect what the parasite does, but this latest study shows that you are more attractive when you have the parasite. So the picture on the left is the composite image of a whole bunch of people who have the parasite. Okay. And the picture on the right is the composite image of a whole bunch of people who don't have the parasite. And on average, most people uh, are, and in the study think the one on the left, here's the female version, think the person on the left looks better. This is again, a composite image, but those are the people with the parasite that look like that on average. The people on the right don't have the parasite and they look like that on average. And so why would a parasite want you to look better and how would it even make you look better but yeah. here it is it's uh it seems to be that it, it can do it parasites are fascinating okay uh explain for everyone how does it benefit the parasite to make its host appear more attractive like how, end game is getting to the cat how does this help Right. Well, Endgame is getting to the cat, but on the way there, it's good to get into as many potential hosts as possible in the hopes that somebody's going to get picked off by a cat. Now, now, no human gets eaten by a house cat, but any cat will work. So if you think in evolutionary times, a lion or a tiger oh. eating a human, that would work. And so for this parasite, its strategy is to get into as many people as possible. One of the ways this can spread, apparently, is through sexual transmission. So... If you make the parasite, oh. if the parasite makes you look better, you'll have more sex partners. And what they found in this study is that people who had the parasite, they had more sex partners in their past when they filled out a survey. And so it seems that either this parasite is better at getting into people who have more sex or the parasite is changing their lives in such a way that they have more sex, which honestly, like if you're going to get a parasite, it's not that bad, <laughs> right? You're better looking and you're having more sex. I mean, it's... What's the downside, right? It's just a brain parasite. If you're going to get a parasite, is, and, and that's the one you want. The one that makes yeah, you more exactly. attractive and allows you to have more sex. Okay, well, how can you tell if you have it then, Dad? Well, yeah, so, I mean, obviously, if someone as good looking as you, it's just assumed, of course, that you must have a brain parasite. It's got to be the worst pickup line you could ever use is to go Correct. up to somebody and say, you look so good, you must have a brain parasite. But the way to test is you look at the immune system. So you just check to see whether your body has uh, immunoglobulins that, that react to the parasites, uh, the parasites proteins, and that's how you tell. Because once it gets into the body, it sort of hides in nooks and crannies that you'll never be able to find full tell, like, to, to find the actual parasite. You just look at the immune response. And so it's a little bit like a COVID test in a lot of ways where you look to see whether the immune system has seen it before. Every time I look at a red carpet now, all I'm gonna think of is, I wonder if they have toxoplasmosis.
Oh, I know, I know. This way, it's like a can of worms, it, but it's better than worms. It's brain parasites. And I will say, Sonia was saying nice things about cats in the pictures, but there yeah. are a lot of people who think that, you know, the affection that people feel towards cats is because of this parasite oh. making us more attracted to cats. In fact, the cat lady phenomenon, where people have a ton of cats in the house and they sort of become immune to the cat urine smell, that all has these lines of dialogue that go right into this parasite. And it's quite possible that that's what drives that behavior. So there's a big story here about human behavior. It's really interesting. Fascinating. You look so good today. Thanks, I have toxoplasmosis. Okay, thanks <laughs> yeah, exactly. so much, Dan. <laughs> Take care. Thanks a lot. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.